All right, we're gonna do some cloning again of live fresh tissue. So this is the one that I used to make the last spore print, um, which I did inside one of these PP5 cups. And the reason is so you can then spray water in there and make your own um, spore syringe. And that's coming up in another video. But we're not going to let this go to waste. And I'm going to clone this. Now here's the other thing. You'll see one without blue dye and one with it. Food coloring, I should say. So this one with the blue food coloring, this one without. I went overboard with the food coloring on these last I made um, because I wanted it to be even darker for the videos. And I realized that my mycelium wasn't growing fast enough and wasn't growing rhizomorphic, wasn't stringy. So I made another batch with no food coloring at all. And I've been doing some tests that, that I'm going to talk about later in another post. And uh, which seems to show that it's growing faster without the coloring. It looks way better, the mycelium against the blue, but we want better growth and not better aesthetics. So I'm going to clone on both of them because I'm going to compare and see if one grows faster than the other. Hopefully we'll get enough tissue for two clones from this one. It's pretty simple. We don't want any nasties on it, so what we do is we tear it in two. And we get from the inside some tissue from in here. Which has not been exposed to this very point in time. Now it's a bit of a pain, so I'm gonna use my Leasers. It's from here, right in the middle, as always. And of course, it wants to stick. There we go. That's it. It's kind of small. That's all we need. Take the other exacto because it's cleaner. We haven't used it yet. Do the exact same thing. Get it from in here, right from the middle. And then use this. That's it. That's how easy cloning is. My is gonna grow out of them, and you're gonna see some time lapse videos showing how they grow. And we're gonna compare if the blue really does slow it down.